We've just arrived at our last destination and this is an Airbnb. So I'm really excited because I've never done an Airbnb before. Um, I hear very mixed reviews about them, but this one looks gorgeous. hard to pronounce. We've left Fitiunga. Fitiunga. And we're on our way to the next destination. It's a converted cow shed. Don't know what to expect really. We've just arrived at our last destination and it was really affordable. So like I told you guys, we're doing all kinds of different accommodations. Okay, so we have a set of instructions for the Airbnb host. This is the way it works for people that don't know anything about Airbnb. So you book and then they, the host contacts you and gives you all the instructions about how to check in because every property has different rules on times and all that kind of stuff. So this host is saying, um, where I please park your car at the tanker, find a key. I won't tell you where because that's her secret, but she tells me where to find the key. And then the key box, okay, all right. I've got the instructions, we can do this. Okay, let's go, but look how beautiful this place is. <gasps> Reminds me of like, I've never been to England, but you know those movies where you feel like you're in the English countryside? <gasps> this is beautiful, beautiful. Okay guys, this is gonna be a super quick uh, room tour. place on Airbnb was reviewed so well and we have a restored dairy it used to be a cow milking shed up here I'm assuming to be the bathrooms for the kids yes see this is the thing about me I really seek authentic experiences so we had a pretty solid checklist when we were planning accommodation sometimes we plan to lash out and really go to town on you know, something that was a real treat and then other times we had to rein it right in and be ultra conservative just to make sure that everything was affordable within the 10 month budget and uh, yeah so a lot of it's going to be Airbnb and it was an unknown it was an anomaly for us not knowing what to do you hear so many mixed reviews but this is the master here we have the master um, ensuite and it is just pristine clean this place I am so happy with yes Is it? Your bathroom? I haven't seen it. Come and show me. <laughs> if you could smell the air out here. And if you could just take like, oh. Sometimes there aren't words to express how you feel. And I think that's where I'm at at the moment. And so just, I don't know. You just don't realize how much you miss. It's like, okay, let me try this again. A fish doesn't know that it's wet. That's what I'm trying to say. And there's a rat race that happens in the city and you're just part of that culture and you're not even aware of it. You just, because you're the fish, you don't even know that you're wet. And you're just a part of it and you go through the motions and you do all the status quo things and, and then sometimes you just stop and you take a minute and you come out somewhere completely different and you change your perspective. And it doesn't happen immediately because I find like it's the grind is almost so so taxing on one that it takes a while it takes a few days or a week to really you know settle into that relaxation mode or that mode where your brain is attuned to your surroundings in a different way like heightened senses that thing takes a while it's not instant so you can take a couple of days off and feel like really good and inspired but it's not the same thing that happens because we're now one week into our trip and something happened today just something on the drive from um, Fitiunga where we were which is right near Coromandel out to this way and something just happened and 
And there aren't really words. You can't really articulate it. And I'm sorry about the ramble. I am sorry. My husband's going to kill me because <laughs> he's not going to kill me. But he's going to be like, babe, people aren't going to want to watch you ram ramble. People aren't going to want to listen to that. They've got busy lives. And that is true. You guys probably don't want to watch me and listen to me ramble. But a lot of this as well is for our record and our, um, you know, for sentiment and to look back on one day. We want to document it. So that's how I'm feeling right now. I'm going to give you a, a tour quickly of the grounds and... Uh, Three days here and it's gonna be just already I'm just so happy so happy with the cow shed it's on Airbnb not sponsored totally not sponsored missed much of today it's pretty much been a travel day to get here we went for the cathedral cove walk at sunrise the kids are just outside now with andrew because it is a gorgeous day they're just going to do some afternoon learning time we tend to do our school based stuff in the afternoons like we may have a pretty big morning we'll get up super early usually we start our days at about 6 a.m um, depending on where we are and what we're wanting to achieve but quite often we might start our days at 6 a.m where we'll go out, we'll either do a hike or a walk or we'll go to the beach or a drive or something like that. And then we'll be, we'll get back home at around about, I don't know, midday, one o'clock and then relax for an hour just so everyone can have their own downtime. Also, that tends to be how it is. And then around about between two and th about 2 p.m. Uh, we start, he, oh, Andrew starts learning and that's usually when I put on all the washing that needs to, to be done and I'll either go to go duck down to the shop and get something for dinner, uh, cook dinner, whatever it is. I've got uh, food for the next three days, breakfast, lunch and dinner, and I'm going to cook dinner after this. We went together until forever. We had all the reasons to split and we made a final when up to forever. The decay was double the fall when from nothing to less when So hopefully this should all be ready in about 45 minutes. And these hungry people out there who are just doing a bit of study right now will be able to eat it. We're gonna light that fire pit and then we're gonna have toasted marshmallows tonight. Okay, come around the side. Here we go. go and get something snuggly on. Despair, what was your favorite thing about today? I don't think I have a The marshmallows will no, be your favourite? No, no, we've got to have dinner first. <laughs> so what was your favourite thing of today, Lani? <laughs> I the marshmallows going to be our favourite. We had all the reasons to split And we made a final went to forever The decay was double for when from Let's go! Vlog day, who knows, I've lost count. I have to do something really exciting today, super, super exciting. It may involve hobbits, it may involve eating, and it may involve gardens. We're set, let's go. First things first, coffee. making a phone call right now, a very important phone call to air traffic control. Yeah, just confirm that the drone's on the ground now. So, Thank you. And just like that, My hubby. you're gonna finish the sentence, Bob, and just like that, it's a wrap. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like did it, that. yeah, we did it. First time Hi. ever. Hey, baby. Hi. <laughs> What do you think of the um, Hamilton Gardens? Pretty. Pretty.
feeling very hungry, which is just as well because we're doing a banquet very soon. But I do need your help. I need a countdown from three to one with two in the middle. Three, two, one. Dinner is served and it is amazing. <laughs> Good morning. Although it's not the morning, it's the afternoon. We've had a bit of a funny morning. We've had a bit of a funny morning. We chase it. We were chasing our tail. What was that? We were chasing our tail a little bit. Uh, but we're organised. Got ourselves out of the house, and we are down about to do an incredible walk. I say incredible because. Any old walk in New Zealand tends to be incredible. If you know, if you've ever been to this country or know anything about it, the terrain is stunning. It is next level. And this is where we're at. Let me show you. Babe, I think you should tell everybody what we're doing. They probably oh, no, no, no. Gosh, babe. intermittently I'm notorious for that I'm trying to get better but you know like everything in life it's a skill oh, what a way to spend an afternoon we were all disorganized and in all kinds of bother this morning and then we just get out here in the outdoors and everybody just even the ordinary is extraordinary in New Zealand yeah it's, just amazing place. it's like a normal walk and it just becomes an activity an experience in its own right even with the trucks roaring past. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Like, it doesn't even detract from it having those trucks. You can probably hear them in the background or see them, but you still feel like you're in another world. It's pretty special. So much love for New Zealand. So we're world schooling the girls. A lot of people have asked how are we doing the education aspect of things. We're not doing distance education and we're not doing homeschooling. We're doing what you call world schooling, which is actually a thing. I think it's gold. So this here was an open cut mine. So the way we have partnered together to do the learning objectives is that he would tell me the lesson plans and the outcomes that he wanted the kids to learn and achieve. And then I would go about the research and find the things that would marry up and align with the lesson that he wanted to teach so I found this place which comes under the category then of sustainability as well as resources because this we believe to be we're assuming was a gold mine and when I stand here and I look at those rolling green pastured lands over there in the distance and then I see the juxtaposition of this mining pit right here and I assume it was for gold I still look at that and think the obvious is there we just we we ruin the planet that my breakfast or yeah, yours? That was your breakfast. This will be mine. Morning babe, are you sad to be leaving? No. Why not sad? No, but it's so amazing here. It is. It's really beautiful. But still not sad? Nope. It almost seems to be something around the <laughs> I know right? If we were going home? Yeah, true. Should I be in your face? Mm. Should I be? No. Should I stop you? Yeah. Oh, yum! Thank you, babe. Wait, 
ice cream. Oh, whoa. Well, yeah, there's a little bit of coconut ice cream on that. We have just checked out a cow shed. No road trip is complete without a good, there it is, without good coffee to set you on your way. And we're gonna go back to Hamilton Gardens. Today's our last day in New Zealand. We're leaving. I am starting this vlog on the road because it is gonna be a road travel day for the bulk of all of it. We have got so much time to kill in airports and we've got like nine hours to wait in one airport. So it's gonna be very, very long, and very arduous, but eventually when we arrive on the other side, it's gonna be blue skies, palm trees. Can't wait to share it. I just got this message from Tanil saying next time you vlog and wear your shower cap, can you explain it? It's so cute and so you'll and so it will add to your character story. Love the vlog. Bryce Street? Yeah, just directions. And do they have the shoes that you want? Don't know. I'll just go look. Alright. I'm gonna have to make them. Alright. This will be our last chance. Okay. Our last chance, because where are we going? Where are we going? I don't know. Where are we going today? This is Auckland. Auckland. Yes, guys. <laughs> no, not Auckland. Yes, we are going to Auckland. Fiji. Fiji. Yeah. Fiji. Oh. We saved you. You nearly fell off the dashboard. We're in the base, getting kitted out for Fiji. How's that feel, Ava? I don't think it's on properly. A bit big. Where? No, I don't think you got it in properly, babe. It isn't. Today is a lot of faffing about. Faffing. I just need to say that extra carefully and slowly so everyone knows I'm not saying the F word. Faffing. We are faffing about today because we've got a, we're just running errands. Like my husband didn't have, anyway, you don't want to know our problems. I will save our problems for somebody who cares. But what I will say, be, oh, I'm not in focus. There we are. Because we're faffing about and we're trying to find stuff, we're now waiting for our drinks order to come. Because, hang on, I'm still not in focus. But these glasses look so expensive. I can tell you now they're like $20. How good is that? $20. And I'm not going to buy them because I know that Andrew will kill me because he keeps freaking out about our suitcases and the amount we have. But I'm just thinking like this with, in Fiji. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Which looks crazy. Oh my gosh, you look amazing. Look at me. Don't be shy. Oh, like amazing. <laughs> Oh, it's weird. Oh, I oh. oh God. <laughs> it's like a creature, but oh. the camera's not picking up the spikes. Make it when it spikes go. Oh, oh I don't like it. Yeah. What we have right here, people, is school on the road. The girls collected um, black sand from the black sand beach we passed through. So what's the point of this lesson, Bob? Because I want to understand too. Oh, it's about magnetism. <laughs> and where... Um, resources come from right so this is iron that we use to make steel and that's so cool how it's actually created in the uh, black sand beaches i don't think I anybody knows take it off but so this Oops. literal yeah go babe sorry <clears throat> i just want them to experience and feel and play with nature's forces oh if you do that it'll all stick to it and then you do that so we've got magnets here we haven't bought magnets today andrew's been carrying around this black sand from the black sand beach waiting to find the waiting to find a place to buy magnets well, and to apply that to real life babe didn't you say that the earth is one giant magnet yep, so that a giant magnet and we're off to the north the northern hemisphere we should see northern lights which is the, the result of them interacting with so this separates. is what world schooling looks like world schooling is about grabbing everything that's around you because there's so much to learn everywhere so even when you don't understand like i don't understand a lot of science spikes. concepts yeah, and the, the theories and all that sort of stuff especially when you get more complex can have more? but what yeah. i do appreciate is that when you see the real in application and you go how does that yeah. affect me directly and how does that like it's just about bringing learning to life i know i say that a bit and you're probably going to hear it a whole heap more but it's about understanding the world around you and how we interact with it and the impact that we have on our surroundings and then vice versa and it just means that when you part when you live life when you do life you can just appreciate it so much more because it's not just stuff is not just stuff have some, like, here you go world schooling while traveling full time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah people are probably trying to fill their car up with petrol oh yeah 
We you probably know, should mention that we're in the car in a BP. Is this called BP? Oh yes, New Zealand call it BP too. We're in the car in a BP petrol station. We filled up ages ago, uh, but I don't know. Life on the road, right? Yeah, here you go. Life on the road. So I told you to. Uh, I told you today was going to be just a travel day, and it's been that. Uh, and the next time you see me, I'm going to be very blurry eyed. You couldn't get it to, to do. What? We're going to be very blurry eyed. It'll be 3 a.m. until we get on another plane. So we're headed to the airport now. Mm -hmm.